Welcome back to Curiosity Ignite, a place where you can get to know the world a little better. In this episode, we will explore every single country in Europe, starting with Albania, the first country on the alphabetical list. There are more Albanians living outside Albania than within its territories. The estimated population of the Albanian diaspora is around 7 million, compared to the roughly 2.5 million Albanians who live in Albania. Speaking of interesting demographics, Andorra is pretty fascinating. Two-thirds of the population of Andorra do not have an Andorran nationality. The Spanish, Portuguese, and French make up a large portion of their population. Andorra is also the world's only co-principality, meaning they have two princes as the head of states, neither of which were born in Andorra. One is from Spain, and the other is from France. France is well known for its romance and the Eiffel Tower. What's less well known is that the French invented tin cans, hair dryers, and hot air balloons. They also have old people. No, I'm not joking. The oldest person ever to have lived is a French woman. She lived to a ripe old age of 122 years and 164 days. Speaking of old, what's old is the Danish flag. Denmark has the oldest, continuously used national flag in the world. The current design was first used around 1219 and formally adopted in 1625. The second on the list of old flags is Austria. While Austria does not have the oldest flag, what they have is the oldest continuously operating zoo in the world. Vienna Zoo, located in Vienna, was opened in 1725. It survived World War I, World War II, and World War Z, which was filmed in Malta. The same goes for Gladiator, Assassin's Creed, and Game of Thrones. Malta is a small island nation in southern Europe. An even smaller island nation located all the way up north is Iceland. When I say smaller, I mean the size of their population, not the size of the island. Iceland has a population of around 365,000, which is 150,000 less than that of Malta's, despite being 325 times bigger. People from Iceland enjoyed many things in the past. However, one enjoyment they lacked was the enjoyment of drinking beer, which was only legalized in 1989. This would have been very bad news for people in the Czech Republic, as Czechs drink more beer per capita than anyone else in the world. They consumed, on average, 160 liters of beer per person per year. A variation of beer is stout. The best-selling stouts worldwide are Guinness Stouts, a brewery that was originated in Dublin, Ireland. Ireland is not to be confused with Northern Ireland, which is part of the UK, officially the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, which is a long name considering the fact that this is just two words, British Empire. The United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland is home to the oldest metropolitan railway system in the world. Having the oldest railway is impressive. However, what's even more impressive is having three of the longest continuous railway lines in the world in one country. The Moscow to Beijing line, the Moscow to Vladivostok line, and the Moscow to Pyongyang line all go through, you guessed it, Moscow, Russia. This shouldn't come as a surprise as Russia is the world's largest country by land area. Trains just so happen to be a very effective way to travel long distances by land. While Russia is the biggest country on Earth, it is not the biggest in Europe. Wait, that doesn't make sense. If Russia is the biggest country on Earth, how on Earth is it not the biggest in Europe? Before you call me crazy, let me explain. Russia is a transcontinental country. Three quarters of Russia is located in Asia, while one quarter is in Europe. The title of the largest country in Europe goes to Ukraine, also home of the largest desert in Europe. Poland shares a border with Ukraine, but what's surprising is Poland also shares a border with Russia because this is part of Russia. This Russian exclave is separated not by one, but two countries. If you're traveling from Russia to Russia, you might want to stop by Poland to visit the world's largest castle. And speaking of largest, Slovakia is home to the largest stalagmite in existence. Okay, enough with the big stuff, let's go small. The world's smallest country is Vatican City, the only country in the world located within a city of another country. The entire country of Vatican City is enclaved within the city of Rome, which is the capital city of Italy. Vatican City is so small that you can walk its entire 3-kilometer border in less than 40 minutes. 
Despite having a population of fewer than 1,000 people, Vatican City has its own military and football team. The only other enclaved country in Europe is the tiny country of San Marino, which surprisingly is also enclaved within Italy. San Marino has the world's oldest surviving national constitution, dating all the way back to the early 1600s. We've covered Vatican City and San Marino, the smallest and the third smallest countries in Europe. In between those two is Monaco. Monaco is a country with the world's highest population density. Over 38,000 people live inside a country that's smaller than New York's Central Park. Police presence in New York City is big, which is why you shouldn't walk around naked unless you want to get arrested. That is, however, not the case if you're living in Spain. Spanish law does not have any articles that prohibit public nudity. It is, however, uncommon in and around the city. Most public nudity occurs on beaches. Right next to Spain is Portugal, the world's largest cork producer. Over 70% of the world's cork comes from Portugal. While Portugal has lots of corks, Finland has lots of saunas. It is estimated that there are over 2 million saunas in Finland, or about one per household. To me, being enclosed in a small room is a lot like being in prison. In Slovenia, you can pay to stay in a prison. A former Slovenian prison was transformed into one of the most unique hotels in the world, giving guests an opportunity to spend a night behind bars. What can you do behind bars? Well, you can eat lots of chocolate bars, something Switzerland has lots of. Switzerland, another landlocked country in Europe, is home to the world's longest staircase. The stair that runs alongside a mountain railway in Switzerland is officially the longest stairway in the world. Climbing it means you have to cover 3.4 kilometers of distance, 1,669 meters of altitude, and 11,674 steps. A great way to burn off all the chocolate bars. Another country with a large chocolate manufacturing industry is Belgium, a country that holds the record for the longest period without a government. In 2011, Belgium set a world record of 589 days without an elected government in place, a record which was broken again in 2020, following the collapse of then Prime Minister Charles Michel's government in 2018. While Belgium went without a government for close to two years, Moldova went three years without an elected president. This is in stark contrast with Bosnia and Herzegovina, a country where there are three presidents. The parliament is where important decisions are made. In Romania, you'll find the Palace of Parliament, the heaviest building in the world, weighing in at over 4 billion kilograms. I'm pretty sure all these building spaces require a lot of furniture, something Sweden is famous for. Sweden is known for IKEA, meatballs, and IKEA meatballs. While IKEA was founded in Sweden, it is currently headquartered in the Netherlands. Many people working in IKEA's headquarters probably cycle to work, as the Netherlands is a country that cycles more than any other country in the world. It is estimated that there are more bicycles in the Netherlands than people. Right across the border of the Netherlands is Germany, where a college education is free for everyone, even for non-Germans. In order to fund higher education institutions, taxes have to be collected. Germany, however, does not have the highest tax rates. That goes to Hungary. At 27%, Hungary has the highest value-added tax in the world. Directly south of Hungary is Serbia, where you can find the world's most expensive cheese, retailing at a whopping 1,000 euros per kilogram. And south of Serbia is Kosovo, a country that is not recognized by Serbia. This partially recognized state is one of only two countries that has a map on their flag. The other is Cyprus, which is a small country compared to Turkey right above it. In Turkey, you can enter a tunnel in Europe and exit in Asia. The Marmaray Tunnel is a 13.5 kilometer long undersea railway in the city of Istanbul, the only city in the world built on two continents. Similar to Turkey, the majority of Kazakhstan is located in Asia, and Kazakhstan is the world's largest landlocked country. Another landlocked country in Europe is Armenia, a country where chess is a mandatory subject in school. Neighboring Armenia is Azerbaijan, a country with a very interesting tea drinking culture. In Azerbaijan, tea is served with fruit jam. Yes, jam. While tea is popular in Azerbaijan, wine is popular in Italy. 
Italy, along with Spain and France, is one of the top wine producing countries. Wine is so abundant here, you can find a free wine fountain that flows 24 hours, seven days a week. This is good news for people of all ages, as there's no minimum drinking age in Italy. Similarly, there is no legal drinking age in Belarus, meaning that people of all ages can legally consume and enjoy alcohol on both Christmases. That's right, there are two official Christmases in Belarus, one in January for the Orthodox Christians and one in December for the Roman Catholics. Both are official days off. Christmas is not the same without decorated Christmas trees, and the first Christmas tree was decorated in Latvia in 1510. That tree, however, was nothing compared to an olive tree in Montenegro. Montenegro is home to one of the world's oldest olive trees, which is believed to be well over 2,000 years old. Another one of these ancient olive trees can be found in Greece, a country where modern democracy was believed to have originated. Greece is a very interesting country when it comes to voting. In Greece, voting is required by law for everyone above 18 and under 70. Failure to vote is punishable by a prison sentence. However, no one has ever been prosecuted. Macedonia is a region within Greece. However, North Macedonia is an independent country above Greece. North Macedonia is the birthplace of Mother Teresa, someone who has devoted her entire life to the poor. Luxembourg, yet another landlocked country in Europe, is the opposite of poor because Luxembourg is the richest country in Europe. Even with all its wealth, it is not advisable for people living in Luxembourg to purchase a yacht, as they're at least 300 kilometers away from the nearest coastline. People in Liechtenstein, however, have it worse. It is one of only two countries in the world to be doubly landlocked, meaning they have to cross two national borders to reach a coastline, a concept Norwegians may find hard to grapple with. Norway has the longest coastline in Europe, a length that cannot be accurately determined due to the coastline paradox. What can be determined, however, is the length of the world's longest road tunnel, which spans 24.5 kilometers. This tunnel has no emergency exits, and it takes roughly 20 minutes to get across, a long time to be inside a tunnel. Another thing that is long is the length of time in which Bulgaria kept its name. Established in 681 AD, Bulgaria is the oldest country that hasn't changed its name since it was established. Next on the alphabetical list after Bulgaria is Croatia, home to the popular dog breed Dalmatian. Like all dogs, Dalmatians have a great sense of smell, so it may not come as a surprise if they can recognize the scent of Lithuania. Lithuania is the only country in the world with a national scent. If you drive 600 kilometers north, it will get you into Estonia, a country with distinctly more women than men. For every 100 females in Estonia, there are 84 men. The mother is the female parent to a child, while the father is the male parent to a child. In many parts of the world, mama and dada have cross-linguistic similarities. Mama and its numerous versions of this word mean mother, and dada means father. In Georgia, however, they have mama and dada backward. In Georgia, mama means father, while dada means mother. Moving 2,000 kilometers west on the latitude line from Georgia, you'll end up in the country we started from, Albania. If you've stayed till this part of the video, there are three things for sure. First, you've gotten to know every single country in Europe a little better. Which brings you to the second. You are a geography buff like me, which means you should subscribe to Curiosity Ignite because you'll get more videos like the one you're currently watching. In order to continue feeding your curiosity, make sure to click on the next video and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.